Hello, today I would like to talk about OCXO frequency references, these guys. And recently I've made a video about TCXO references, like this one. I played with a couple of such units, and in another video I took one apart. I'll put a link to these videos below. Let's start with an overview. Here we have a quartz crystal, and these guys, in terms of accuracy, uh, are around 30 or 50 ppm. There is a wide variety of them on the market, and some of them are better than this, around 10 ppm, let's say, some are worse, maybe 100 or even more. Uh, next step is these temperature compensated oscillators. Essentially they have one such crystal inside with some circuitry around it to compensate for the temperature drift and the result is within the temperature range of let's say 0 to 50 degrees C this guy is 1 ppm and it's also rated 1 ppm a year for drift, aging drift. So next step is these guys oven controlled. Instead of compensating for the temperature they maintain the temperature inside. They consume more power so this guy consumes 20 milliamps. Uh, these guys consume much more we'll see that later. There is a great series of videos about such OCXO oscillators and also about rubidium standard which is way more accurate by Jerry Sweeney. Uh, I'll put a link to his videos as well below. I highly recommend watching them. So, uh, I bought this guy for $11 and then I started looking at OCXOs. I also found that they are around $11, cheapest ones, but they are used. So this was a new unit and these are used from China. Apparently they salvage them, them from some kind of telecommunication equipment and there is a dent here, as you can see. I don't know how they handle them. But anyway, they are working just fine. They are tested. And uh, they are willing to replace them if anything is wrong. And uh, this is a 5 volt sine wave model. And this is 12 volt and square wave model. There is no data sheet for this guy and I have data sheet for this guy so let's have a look at it. Here is the data sheet and uh, my model is this 5 volt sine wave and here is a table for temperature stability so here are different ranges of temperatures and different stability. My model is this one. So it's rated at 20 parts per billion, which translates to 0 0.02 ppm. Within this range from minus 20 to plus 70 degrees C. And as you can see, they can range from 5 parts per billion to 100 parts per billion. Uh, this table is about uh, aging and my model is this one at 10 megahertz and aging is rated at 5 uh, times 10 to the minus 8 which is 50 parts per billion per year. In ppms that would be 0 0.05. So that's quite impressive. 
and they have a pin to adjust frequency by external means if we hook up 20 kilo uh, let's see 20 kilo ohm port and uh, one side goes to ground another side goes to a reference pin uh, which is the output from the oscillator and it's supposed to be pulled around half a ppm both ways so let's hook it up and give it a try so here I hooked up this 5 volt sine wave model and uh, I set the voltage to 5 volts let's turn on the output so note that uh, it starts from about half an amp and it is warming up and the current drops and the frequency rises so and I hooked up this multimeter to measure the reference output uh, so this model has internal reference at four and a half volts which we see here and this is to uh, hook up the external adjustment so let's measure this adjustment pin so look this adjustment pin is sitting at almost zero which means uh, it is now uh, adjusted effectively to one side so it's not in the middle of the range so and uh, the oven keeps warming up now the current dropped to 180 milliamps or so and still dropping a bit uh, but it's supposed to warm up in about two minutes so probably it's very close to being stable so now it's quite stable the current still drops a bit but uh, it's quite stable now around 150 milliamps and the frequency uh, 1 ppm is here so it's about 0.25 let's call it 0.25 ppm higher than 10 megahertz so let's make a note and this is the low point for this guy so it's effectively pulled low so I happen to have this 20k pot let's hook it up and try pulling this guy alright I connected the pot and uh, the adjustment voltage is still zero now and let's see again uh, it's about 0.23 ppm above 10 megahertz and let me pull it to the middle which would be 225 volts to 225 let's say something like that and let's make a note of the frequency in the middle which is plus one zero six ppm and now let's pull it all the way to that internal reference which is four and a half approximately so it, let's make a note at the high point it is plus 173 ppm 
and by the way from that previous video with TCXO references which was the best I had so far and better than the counter so if we trust this guy the counter is about 1.9 ppm above but according to this uh, 5 volt sine wave of CXO uh, if we assume that it's accurate in the middle of the range the counter is almost exactly 1 ppm above 10 megahertz here I hooked up the other one which is CMAC uh, model square wave 12 volt I set the power supply to 12 volts let me enable the output so it starts warming up consuming about 240 milliamps and uh, this guy does not have the uh, reference output pin which is a bit unfortunate because uh, in order to have that um, adjustment external adjustment we need a stable voltage and uh, we have to arrange some other external reference for that purpose so we don't have to do it right now because we're just playing with it uh, and uh, the meter is measuring that adjustment pin so that adjustment pin is sitting at two and a half volts and I think it's a middle of the range and what I mean by this is I believe this guy has an internal uh, voltage reference which is 5 volts and by the way the seller from China uh, insists that this thing can work from both 12 volts and 5 volts and I don't think so uh, let's see uh, I can turn the voltage down and while I do this have a look at the adjustment pin it's still two and a half volts uh, until about five and a half and then it starts dropping so and if the supply is five volts what I think is happening that internal reference the voltage regulator drops out of the regulation and that's not a good thing for accuracy so it will work and as we see it works however it's not going to be accurate because now it depends on the stability of external voltage so let's turn it up again to 12 So, uh, let's see if it still warms up. Well, the current keeps dropping a little bit, but not much, so it's almost stable. So, let's make a note. At 2.5 volts adjustment, which is the middle of the range, I believe, it is sitting at plus 0.93 ppm according to my counter so I connected the pot and now it's pulled all the way down to zero volts uh, and let's see I think it's warmed up and uh, current consumption is around 90 milliamps so let's make a note at all the way down at the lowest point 
it is minus 0 0.07 ppm and let's go all the way up but I need to be careful not to go beyond 5 volts I connected the port to 12 volts so something around here is all the way up and let's make a note all the way up is plus 173 ppm so this is a quick summary of the results so it seems like at midpoint these two guys disagree about 0 0.13 ppm and uh, if if I trust that figure then my counter must be about 1 ppm above uh, the true 10 megahertz so I'll probably adjust my counter after all as a result of these experiments and maybe even to take it apart to see if I can put one of these inside as an option to upgrade it or maybe just use them as external reference when I need to something like that thanks for watching goodbye